Hi guys, it's Kat from Perfectly Imperfect Crafts. I am here to do a flip through of this journal that I've made. It is a soft cover. It is um, two layers of cardstock. No, sorry, back up. This one is a um, started out as an envelope, and I covered it with cardstock. I make so many of them, I get confused. It is tied with this tool. It is four signatures. This beautiful butterfly fly, um, paper came from um, paper pad from I think it's called Conservatory. And I just dropped it inside. The papers, the scrapbook papers all came from the conservatory from Michael's, I believe is where it's from. And um, a printable from, I believe this is Artie Mays. So there's a coffee dyed paper and they're stitching. We've got a tuck spot there with, this is old design shop. And this is just a piece of uh, vintage ledger paper. vintage ledger paper and it's got a tuck spot there with some ephemera and this is Artie Mays piece of an old um, book it's the cutoffs this was from Dana it was in the, the happy mail she sent me some ledger paper, well, tea dyed papers. This is a paper clip that I made on my live that night. And this is from Johnny at Junk Journal Shop. It's one of her digitals. And the little butterfly is from the Digital Collage Club. I get my fingers to work this morning. And it's got some vintage lace on it. And you've got this tag that I made from um, leftover paper. And this, I don't remember where I got that. A little miniature um, library card. Some more ephemera in here. And then this is one of the journaling cards I made on live. And it just sticks in this pocket made out of some book page. And the back side of that um, paper from Dino. Some butterflies and it looks like I put that in upside down. Welcome to Perfectly Perfect Crafts. <laughs> and some washi tape there. The rest of that other side of that ledger. I have a belly band with a journaling card. And then this is tangled, but it's got this charm on it and it has a butterfly in it. And you can see that. And then it opens up. You can journal in it, and then there's a pocket here. Let's find something that I can stick down in there. So there's a pocket there. And then this just winds around to hold that closed. This is still more of that paper from Conservatory. This is a Tsunami Rose ticket that I sewed down. This, I uh, believe, was a freebie on Junk Journal Junkies. Another one of those paper clips that I made, and it has this is from, I believe, Junk Journal Shop. This is just a printout of a memo, not a printout, this is a sheet of memo paper that I had that I just. Um, inked up. Check. 
copy of a check from Junk Journal Shop and another journaling tag. This one I backed onto some craft colored paper. We've got some washi here. And you've got a, a double tuck spot here. There, and then here, this is a um, an altered guest check, actually. The journal on. And then these um, post office addresses from the old design shop. Another piece of this is the same paper that is on the cover to uh, journal in on. And then this is a faux letter that I made so you can journal inside of it. It's made with my favorite napkin ever. Made to look old. And it just slides in that pocket. And then you've got a double top spot there. So I just slid that one in there. Sorry, my stuff is moving. And back here we have a pocket. <clears throat> Another one of um, Artie Mays' tags. They were freebies on her um, Facebook group. Another copy of a check from Johnny's shop, which is Junk Journal Shop. The back side of that checklist. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a pocket here with a little um, replica of a library card. This is a piece of uh, Auntie Paper Reese paper and another one of those freebies from Junk Journal Shop. I think it's Deb Robinson. I think she did that. And my belly band here and then I just took this scrap piece and I just folded it to make a large journaling spot. And then we have a stamped image on a postcard. And just use some scraps of paper and to give it some interest. And we have another one of my paper clips, and then this one has a vintage receipt behind it. Replica. They're not true vintage, they're printouts. They're copies, that's the word I'm looking for. And we have some little journaling papers here. Just, just folded them so you could write in the middle. Two of them. I think those are from um, Farm Mirage, I believe. Printed this. This is something I created and I printed it on to tracing paper. More vintage ledger paper. Another um, Artie Mays tag. And a copy of a vintage receipt. fussy cut around these to make a pocket. This one has some graph paper on the back. Piece of a vintage poetry book and I took some washi down because it was a little um, fragile so I took washi down the side of it and a piece of paper to bring them together. Some more of that vintage paper that Dana sent me. The other side of that poetry book. Ledger paper. Um, some more ledger paper. The other side of the paper that I created. Eventually I'd like to have some um, digitals in my shop. Beautiful paper with the birds. Love it. And the butterflies. Just took a scrap of it there and sewed it to the top. And some music paper. Book page. Another piece of that memo paper. Love how this looks on there. It's a, I think that's already made as well. And it is sewn. The signatures are sewn together 
on the sewing machine and my sewing machine and I were having a fight that day. Some more of that already already made paper and then this is a bird. I think this was from um, Junk Girl Junkies a vintage raffle ticket. Some more of that. I made a vellum pocket here and decorated it up. This is all digital collage I believe and this little I'm not sure where I got that at but I sewed around it to make the pocket a little library card and this was a book page that I altered so you can uh, write on it and the same with this one you can, this is actually a pocket if I could get it open oh maybe I didn't no I glued that one shut sorry my bad but you can write on that with a um, white gel pen. A little altered paper clip I made and some more ephemera from Johnny's shop. Another one of those little booklet folds that I made. You can write in music paper. Here's my stamp. It says handmade for you, perfectly imperfect crafts by cat. And then another butterfly on this side. And there's the back. This will be listed in my Etsy store, my Etsy shop, whatever you want to call it. Um, by the time this video is up, it will be listed. It just ties with the bow. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.